Hey guys, it's been a while. It's been, uh, seven months, to be precise. Welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. I'm Tails Fyraga. And we've got monsters. So, before I do any kind of story progression, I realized that I did miss something on the Conde PTA mountain path, and it's not particularly important, but... I want to go back and get it anyway. Because I don't want to waste the MP on this guy. So let's not do that. Goblin Punch. Well, that did some damage. But not very much, you know what? Oh, never mind, he's dead. So there is something that I missed on the Conde PTA Mountain Path, and it's not super important, but it is tied to an ability that Aiko can get, as well as an achievement in the PS4 Steam versions of the game. So I'm going to turn on safe travel just to make the, the trip a little bit less tedious to get through. But remember the statue on the Conde PTA mountain path, and it... I haven't even uploaded that video. I don't even know why I'm saying, oh, but it's been seven months, so I don't... You know, I don't blame you guys for not remembering. No, it's not been seven months for you guys, probably. I've been having a terrible upload schedule. It's probably been, like... I don't even know when the next episode, or the last episode was, because I don't even have it up yet. Because my upload schedule is butts, because I'm a terrible person. But regardless, we need to find the Blue Stone. And the blue stone is actually up here. Now, because of kind of like the pre-rendered nature of a lot of the areas, you might not necessarily know that that's a climbable bit of ivy. But you can actually go up here to this statue, which has the blue stone. And now it's a case of remembering where the big statue was. Now, with all four of the stones in place, we get an item called the Moonstone. There is an achievement tied to the Moonstones primarily because there are only four Moonstones in the game. Uh, the Moonstones are useful for teaching a certain skill to Eiko, along with, like, being an equipable item. Something came out from the back. Received the Moonstone. So what the Moonstone does is, it's going to affect a summon that Aiko gets later, the Carbuncle Summon. But, if we go to Equipment... Now, it will also teach the ability Shell and Beast Killer where applicable. We already have a Moonstone, so I don't actually know why I went to explain the Moonstone. I should have looked that up beforehand. I am an idiot. And we already bought from Stillskin here, of course we bought from Stillskin. You always buy from Stillskin. That's why he's there. Okay, I guess with that out of the way, we can start to make some story progress, huh? So with the Moonstone firmly in hand, and capable of being given to a small child at any moment, you know what? I could even equip a Moonstone onto somebody who isn't learning something right now. So Vivi is not going to benefit from this at all. And you already have Shell, and you're learning Counter and already have Beast Killer. Never mind, wow, okay, so this is just going to be to teach Echo Shell and to affect what Carbuncle does. Alright, fair enough. I also feel, just to explain, the Carbuncle Summon that we will get later on, I forget which gem it's actually associated with, but the Carbuncle's effect will actually change depending on what kind of stone you have equipped. So all the stones that don't actually teach an Eidolon have that kind of effect. And now we are here at Medane Sorry. Or Medine, sorry, or... <laughs> Bitch, you live like this? What happened to your... This place is in ruins. 
Madain Sari, Village of the Lost Summoners, and Moogles. Alright. We are being treated to Moogles. Where is Mog? No. Mog got eaten. <laughs> Mog! You better come over here. There we go, the fluffiest Moogle. No, I'm not mad. But don't ever leave me behind again, okay? Otherwise, I will be mad. Alright, we've got to follow. Some of the Moogles can talk, too. Alright, come on. Did that Moogle go inside your dress? Yep. Mog always stays with me. Come sit over here. <laughs> it, to, put, to call it a crush is gonna put things mildly here, but I wanna know more about you too, Aiko. Don't encourage her! And even the party looks back and just like, the hell's going on? For instance, the Eidolon. Where are you from? How old are you? What do you do? Where are you going? No, what I want to know is, what kind of foods do you like? What kind of Eidolons do you like? What types of Moogle do you like? What types of girls do you like? <laughs> question after question. Never met anyone like you before. Dagger? What's wrong? You look dazed. Oh, it's nothing. Do you have a fever? <laughs> You're fine. Hey, are you jealous? Why would I be jealous? Are you and Dagger really just friends? Seems like you guys are something more. Well, yeah, we're more than friends. So, what are you guys? We're a team. A team. Yeah. Vivi's also part of the team. Hey, where did he go? You know, that's a very good question. Is it sort of like me and the Moogles? Something like that. All clean. So, so I think we're gonna get into some cooking here in a bit. Because after all, when you have guests over, you want to make something good for them to eat, right? Alright. I'll call you when the food's ready. Don't go too far. And we get an ATE, and I was about to hit share. Because that's what it would be on the actual PlayStation. It's been a while! Let me just say that. Mr. 288 told me that I understand what it means to live and die. But it's only because I thought stopping was different from dying. I don't think I really understand what it means to live and to die. Where do we come from? Do we go back there when we die? If that's what it means to live, I wonder where I came from. Where will I end up when I die? Why am I shaking? What is it that I'm feeling? Poor Vivi. This really is just a game of kicking the shit out of Vivi. It's precious cinnamon roll. He needs to be protected. He is an absolute lad. He is the perfect little man. But we received Libra. So that's another one of the uh, Stelazio that we have. I really need to remember all these fucking terms. It's been a while. Uh, and I really wish that I had a good reason why it's been a while. But I don't. I don't. 
other than like depression and finding like other games to be playing. Because I will admit, during this period of time, I have been playing a lot of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I've been playing a lot of Xenoblade 2. A village of summoners. I've read about them in a book once. A tribe that possesses the power to call forth Eidolons. Eidolons. Knowing that I had Eidolons inside me didn't bring me any joy. Mother imprisoned me. Used the Eidolons she stole from me as tools of war. I thought I would kill my Eidolons if Kuja was going to use them for war. But now that they're gone, I feel like I've lost a piece of myself. Why am I thinking all this now? It must be the location. This place feels so familiar to me somehow. Doing a little bit of world building there. Hello, Moogle. This is a restricted area. Restricted? What's that then? Koopo? <laughs> Zedane, this place only rocks in sand. I eat star sand once. But sand here, not food. Water look clean. Squeak. <laughs> hey, don't take it so hard. They're a special case. Queen is like the only character that doesn't get any sort of like trauma throughout this entire thing. Must have been like this for at least 10 years. What can Aiko possibly feed us? All right, it's time for Echo's feelings. Are you guys ready? Because it's time for cooking. It's time to duel. It's not actually time to duel, by the way. It is just simply time for cooking. That's pretty much it. That's that's pretty much it. That's all I got. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for cleaning. You guys did a great job. A clean house worthy of hosting my hero, Zidane. But here's where the real challenge begins. I don't think Zidane and Dagger are dating yet. Dagger has been slow to catch on to Zidane's moves. That means there's plenty of time for me to get between them. I'm gonna cook lots of yummy food and show Zidane what a good homemaker I am. It might be wor it might work if you cooked good food, but Echo screws up a lot when she cooks. We don't have much food in stock right now. I know, that's why I can't screw up. You're all gonna help me. No! Koopo. Koopo, I'm sleepy. You're all gonna help. I'm gonna cook my specialty. Rock fisted potato stew. Yeah, that's delicious. But the last one you made tasted so bad I thought my pom pom would fall off. Just stew? Yeah, I think I need another dish. What do you guys think? How about some fish? Fresh fish tastes great barbecued. That it does. I love that it even flashes like the model in front of you too. Potato stew and barbecued fish. That actually doesn't sound terrible. Who should go fishing? All right. Now there are decisions to be made throughout this entire thing. But if I remember correctly, we want Momatos to do fishing. And Mocha should do the potatoes. I'm trying to remember this right, and Shimomo will help in the kitchen. Koopa. Yes, I think we made the right decisions. Grandpa. I don't want to be alone anymore. Help me do this right. So, let's see where else we can go. I think... I remember there being something around here as well, but...
Like a treasure chest or something? Like a hidden one? I'm trying to remember. That That is dagger. That is not a treasure chest. That is still not a treasure chest, Zidane. No? Apparently not. Alright. Fair enough. Oh, here! Here's one. And there's Vivi. What's up? Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking. Well, try not to think too much. Get some rest. How do you not want to hug Vivi? You should always, like, want to hug Vivi. Thank you for waiting. Lady Aiko says the food will be ready soon. I'll take you to the Eidolon wall in the meantime. Please follow me. Alright, we've got the Eidolon wall. Really, though, if Square, like, had a thing of, like, plushies, like, plush dolls of Vivi, I would buy some. I would buy, like, three. Just an absolute lad. Alright, so how many people do I need to cook for? There's me and Zidane. There's that quiet boy, Vivi. I guess I should cook for Dagger, too. And all you guys. When you put water on for all the people I listed, I'll get the ingredients. So now I've got to remember. So how many people do I need to account for? Now she listed 10 people. Which means we need to account for 11. Alright. Should I put in that Oglop I found on the Conde PTA mountain path? No. Absolutely not. Do not put in the Oglop. Oop. Momotos caught one. It's heavy. Alright. So we need to let Chimomo cook. And we need to help him with this fish. Because it's a big fish... It requires the power of two people. Put together on three, okay? One, two, three. It wasn't a fish at all. It was a people. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna be able to go to the Eidolon wall. Mocha was very proud of his role as the Eidolon wall guard. Eiko's decision to show the Eidolon wall to outsiders upset him. But we Moogles love Eiko. He'll understand in time. Why does the wall need protection? The Eidolon wall has been protected by Eiko's summoner tribe for generations. Summoner tribe? I'm gonna get Dagger. She can use summon magic. Is that true? Alright. Let's get our wool man. We need to check things out. Alright, come with me. I'll show you something big. Summon magic stuff. Summon magic? Yeah, it's called the Eidolon Wall. Alright, legs go. Backtrack a little ways over here, and then we get to the wall. The Eidolon Wall is this way. And there's a big place. The Eidolon Wall is a collection of paintings. The Summoner Tribe painted all the Eidolons they found during their research. These Eidolons all exist? Kupo. <laughs> this is a holy place for the Summoner Tribe. Lady Eiko comes here every day to pray and burn incense for her ancestors. What's this one? There's a Tomos. That's Bahamut. What's wrong, Dagger? I... You'll get it back. I want to look at the mural some more. Okay. Let's do that. 
Let's look at these murals. Yeah, we've got a mural of Bahamut. We've got that kind of looks like Ramu. Summon a tribe honors nature. They named this world Gaia. They considered the Eidolons guardians of this planet. They attempted to become one with nature through their summon magic research. The tribe migrated to this location 500 years ago. But now... There's gotta be something else to click on, right? Dagger, how about you? I don't know most of these Eidolons. You can also see just see Morrison's head steadily following us. I don't know if there's anything else to do though. I'm clicking on a lot of stuff. Well, we can just leave her there for now. Oh, you can even see her on the uh on the fucking whatchamacallit, up there. Alright. Here goes kitchen too. Your bait not so good. Pale. White hair. Strange clothes. Zidane told me about you. You're Kuja! Zidane looked for a man named Kuja. I called Queen. Oh, you chased Mog on the Conde PTA mountain path. I'm Eiko. Mog, don't ever come out while they're around. Smell good. Don't eat anything. The heat too low. You can cook? It's my destiny to pursue way of Gormand. Let's ask for advice. I know how many people live in this village. Isidane's group, the Mughals, and me make 11 people. It's good amount. This heat only strong enough to make food for nine people. It was not possible to make enough for everyone. I teach you a very important lesson in cooking. Always make more than you need. Maybe more people show up. Maybe your guest's very hungry. You correct to make food for more than ten people. This your only ingredient for stew? Mocha went to dig up some rock-fisted potatoes. His problem now with heat. How we get more heat? Hmm. Ah, I know. I know Black Mage. I ask him make fire. Ooh, now Vivi's getting involved. I swear, there's gotta be something else I can click, or like a way over to where that treasure chest is. Cause you can see those treasure chests, they're right there. You gotta find a way over there somehow. Eko and her people protected the Eidolon wall for generations. We Mughals also help I Eko protect the wall. Don't mess it up! Where are all the other people of her tribe? I can't tell you. Oh, the Mughals killed them all. It was the Mughals the entire time! I'm gonna stay here and think about it some more. Oop! Kupopo! Wow! This looks great! This PS1-ass model of a fish. Alright. Have a seat. You made a lot. What's his name? Quina? They helped me. They helped you without eating all the food? Amazing. Vivi, too. <laughs> this... This wonderful lad. This precious fire-making cinnamon roll. He's wonderful. We should start a restaurant. The fish is just right. Hey, Eiko, where are all the other summoners? Are they hiding underground or something? Underground? Yeah. They're all underground, sleeping the eternal sleep. What? I'm the last survivor of my tribe. I've been living with Mughals ever since my grandpa died last year. And they've gotten a little bit dark. Ten years ago, four years before I was born, a natural disaster struck the village. 
even the survivors suffered a great deal. But my mom and dad fell in love and had a family. Not that I remember what they looked like, because they died when I was very young. I'm like a beautiful young heroine in turmoil, don't you think? Huh? You know why I'm here in this village. It was to meet you, Zidane, my beautiful shooting star. That's a line from Lord Avon's play, Wishing Upon a Star. How did you know? Darn it! How does Aiko know about that play? This place is as far away from the Mist Continent. That's actually a good question. How does this small, isolated child know about that play? Maybe. Hey, there's some other stuff I want to ask you. Maybe? That's so rude of you! Zidane, help me clear the table. Bring the pot over to the kitchen. Alright, but first... I must bring this treasure over to my collection. We obtained ore. And we obtained a pot. Look at him carry around this pot. Da -da 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 -da. It's not even stuck to his hands either. That's the best part. Da -da 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 -da. We can't even run with the pot either. We can we can talk to Dagger. So many old books here. I think this one is Lord Avon's Wishing Upon a Star. Can you believe this? This is a first edition. I've only ever seen one at the castle library. Why does she own books that are more than 500 years old? It's because this place is more than 500 years old. So it wasn't just Dagger. Sedane is really slow too. Those two are going nowhere fast. Well, this is good news for me. Hello. I have a pot. Would you like a pot? Thanks, Zidane. Could you leave it there? Eko, do you know anything about the Aoife tree? What about the Aoife tree? We want to go there. It's sealed with an Eidolon. You can't get in. Sealed? Did you seal it, Eko? Well... So he's sharp about certain things. It all happened before I was born, but they sealed an Eidolon that we failed to summon in the Aoife tree. It's our custom to seal a failed Eidolon where we summon it. And how long you failed to summon? Huh. Could it possibly be... Jim? This person keeps catching me, telling me to catch more fish. Zidane, I make great discovery. These fish different from Mist Continent fish. He wants the fish. Everyone wants fish. Although I'm not actually that big a fan of seafood. Alright. Let us sleep. Not the eternal sleep. Although I sometimes take naps that seem like the eternal sleep. Vivi. You better get some sleep before we leave tomorrow. I tried to stop worrying about things, but I just can't. I know you told me not to think too much, but... That's because we're different, Vivi. You don't have to do everything my way, you know. I want to stop. I don't want to feel like this anymore. What if I keep feeling like this? Well, in the end, it boils down to two simple choices. Either you do, or you don't. You'd think with all the problems in this world, there'd be more answers. It's not fair. And that's the way things are. On this bitch of an earth. And the choice is yours. I just want to protect the people I'm with. It doesn't matter whether I can or not. It's what I believe in. I knew it. I was right. Zidane is the man for me. He's right. You either do or you don't. My choice is clear. I want to go with him. You want to know a trick to get your mind off things? Okay. This is an age-old ritual between male friends. Uh-huh. Come over here, Vivi. Let's go together. Doesn't it feel nice to let yourself go under the stars?
<laughs> this is just part three of JoJo's. <laughs> I just put that together. <laughs> Except there's not a stand user. They're not pissing in someone's, like, breathing pipe. Sedane, I want to come back here. When I first saw the Eidolon wall, I was scared. But when I went inside and saw the murals, they calmed me. I want to see more. Sure. We'll come back after we check out the Eva tree. Thank you. We gotta come back and get Queena anyway. We can't just leave him here. Are you coming back here for Eiko? Eiko is only six years old. She acts tough, but I think she's lonely. I haven't seen her today. You're right. No, no. There's some Koopos. There is some water that I am drinking. Can't break the seal of the Aoife tree without calling an Eidolon. You're coming with us? Don't you want me to? Of course I want you to come along. That's what I thought. Okay, I'll join your team for a while. Vivi, Dagger, let's have fun. The Aoife tree is beyond the Conde PTA mountain path. Let's go. Why are you so nice to everyone, Zidane? It's because I'm drinking this delicious bottled water. It's cool, crisp, refreshing. It's not actually that cool, it's like room temperature right now, but I think she was mad. You think so too? Please look after Lady Aiko. Come see if, us, if there is any trouble. Sure thing. Have you figured out a solution to your problem, Vivi? Not really. But I'm moving on. Alright. He's moving on, and so should we. So, in the next episode, we're going to be going back to the Conde PTA Mount. Pa I was about to say Conde Meteor. Back to Meat Mountain to check out a tree. So I will see you guys in the next episode. This is Tales of Rocket signing out. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.